Hey everybody, it's Tammy Lux. I thought I would follow up on one of my video requests from one of my viewers. She wanted to see how I built my bin cages like that one. Look how cute he is, look. Anyway, so this, I have four of these, actually five of them, one I don't use, but four of these and I will show you guys how I built them. I almost fell off my chair. He just pooped in my hand. Isn't that just wonderful? And it just fell on my legs. Let's go put Casper back. Say bye. Okay, so I don't have, since I already have all of my bins built already, um, I'm just going to show you guys one of the bins that I have in storage that I did a long time ago. And I will just kind of show you the process of how I did it, but I'm not going to show it like thoroughly because yeah, I already built it, you know, so that would be kind of hard to do. So bear with me if you can. I um, will try my best to show you without actually doing it. Gosh, I should have made a video on it a long time ago, but oh. If you can hear the piggies, the piggies just got their veggies. So, they're excited. Anyways, let's just get started. And any materials that I don't have anymore, I'm just going to look on Google and like put up some photos throughout the video. And yeah, so let's get to it guys. Hey guys, I'm down here now. I just had to put my super duper glasses on because I can't see right now and my vision is very awful at the moment. Here is the bin. Now this one, like I said, I had in storage. This one is a 105, 106 quart, sorry, 106 quart Sterilite bin that you can get at Home Depot, Lowe's, and Walmart. Yeah, so let's do this. Can you guys see me? Okay, um, so when you first bring your bin home, there's gonna be some things you're gonna need, like something to cut this really hard plastic with. I use, and this is only because I had this in my garage because we use this to cut pumpkins open at Halloween and my husband just always had one. So, so this is called a hot gun and this is what I had in my garage from my husband. And before I started this video, I actually um, went to pull it out of the drawer and now I broke it. Don't tell my husband. I'm hiding it from him. Usually, I'll put a picture up on the side here, but usually there's a nice tip on it and I've used this so many times for a lot of projects and stuff. And this you can find at any hardware store, Home Depot, it's like Home Depot. It's called a hot gun, I think. Uh, I'll put the correct name it's somewhere on the screen. Um, this heats up really, 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 really hot. It, to cut through plastic, this heats up really, really good. And it's a cutter at the same time. So, I mean, this is great, right? Also, really quick, um, if you are younger than 18 years old, please get someone to help you with this because this can really burn yourself. And I have burned myself, not like totally, but I had accidentally like touched just a little bit from like right here and like it really hurt. It really burned me and it was scary and it hurt for weeks. So this is definitely not for children. Well, there are 
different ways. You don't need to use like a hot gun. You can use like a drill to make holes and all that stuff um, to cut this open. But what I like to make one big ventilation on the top. I don't care for making any on the sides of the bins or anything like that because I just, I don't know. I just don't because I feel like using the whole top of the cage is enough ventilation. I mean, look at this. It's a lot. Anything that you can think of that could cut through plastic, you know, should work. So, and so all I really did, as you can see, I just tried to cut all of this. I didn't even measure the mesh yet or anything like that. I, so I cut that all off and tossed it and then I had a big hole. This one I'm showing right now is the 110 quart bin that all the hamsters are in at the moment. So this one is really nice and the plastic is a little thinner than this one. This one took a long time to make because it's so thick. Next, I take the mesh. Now mesh is this stuff right here. And it's another word for it is chicken wire. Like I went to Home Depot, like I didn't even know it was called that. I went to Home Depot, I'm like, hi, where's your mesh? And she was like, what do you mean? I'm like, well, I'm building a hamster cage and I need mesh. And she was like, Oh, hmm, I don't know. Let me ask someone. So she goes and asks someone. He's like, oh, chicken wire. Okay, I guess it's called chicken wire. I guess we don't use mesh around here. I don't know. But anyway, chicken wire or mesh. You want to make sure it's the small holes. Don't get ones with humongous holes because a small robo hamster or dwarf hamster could easily fit through the bigger ones. So make sure to get really small holes. And they're not that expensive. They run around what, like maybe eight bucks, eight or nine, eight to 10 bucks. So that is that. I like to use, I didn't always, like when I first did it with this one, I used some kind of like thin wire strips to put on but I don't really like them and it took a lot of work and I had to twist them and make sure they weren't popping out everywhere so I don't really recommend doing that at all. I really don't. The best thing to use I think and for me personally was just zip ties and these are actually bigger ones. They come in so many different sizes and colors and as you can see, I was not color coordinated at all. I made like five blues and then a red and a yellow and just all over the place. But I like the color ones. I thought they were cool. And you can get these really at any store, any Walmart, Target, any hobby store, anything like that. So these are great. And what I did to make the holes, now you can just use a drill, but I did not do that. I used my hot gun, started making holes. So like, see, they're not like, correctly measured out size holes but yeah you know okay. put the tip of it in as seen in the pictures the little tip right there you can just twist it you just dig it into it into the uh, plastic just the tip and then you just want to twist a little and then it'll actually make a hole and you just keep twisting until the hole is big enough for your um, zip ties to fit in. So that is basically, that's basically it. Take your mesh and cut it to size. So like what I did is I unrolled the mesh and now be careful because you can pinch yourself and I pinched myself so badly. You take the, you take the mesh, unroll it, put it on top of your bin. Like so you want to like lay it on the floor and then just roll it out and measure it and then just cut it. I don't go over anything and I do it from the top, not from the bottom here. See how that's like that. So it's nice and smooth back here. So your, your hamster can't hurt themselves or anything if they do try to get up there like steering and hamsters do. So that is basically it guys. I mean, that is just how I made my bin cage. It's really simple. It's really not that 
part of work. And let me tell you, it is very cheap to do this. This is definitely a fun way to, and cheap way to have a decent size uh, cage for your hamster because hamsters need at least 360 square inches of floor space so and you don't want to put an animal in that small of an environment it's just not it's not fun for them just think if you were like this little hamster and you had like an inch of floor space to like or you know you only had like a little wheel and only room to walk to and from your home your house where you sleep in to the wheel I mean that's not and I would never want to be locked up in something like that. So the bigger the cage, always the better, I say. So bins are really cheap. Uh, my 110 uh, quart Sterilite bin costs only, uh, what was it, $14.99? I think $14. $14.99 at Target. I find these at Target, the 110 ones. I can't find them any, anywhere else. Anyways. Thanks guys for watching this video and I really hope that this video helped you um, or anybody else that wanted to know how to make a bin cage and I know I'm sorry it wasn't like a step by step kind of thing you know what I mean um, so but I hope that this somewhat helped you um, and if it did please uh, leave a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video please remember to hit that subscribe button and uh, to see more fun videos so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time Bye. yeah